Now we're back here at PTS Fab with Nick. He's doing some stuff with some bars. He told me I can't put a sticker on the car though because it's gonna look, it's gonna, the truck is too ugly for the sticker to brace. Poor Liam. What if I just put like a sticker and an arrow pointed directly down at just this piece? Is that okay? So that everybody knows like you didn't do any, like you didn't do any of the ugly shit? Yeah. Just the stuff that looks yeah. good? Yeah, we might be able to work with that. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Probably not. All right, so we got Liam over here doing, trying to do uh, two things today. So the first one is those bars are going to go back here on the tow hitch. So what we're doing is we're making something that we can just easily remove in and out. And since we got this hitch back here, I said, screw it. We'll just uh, utilize this somehow. So those two bars are just gonna be stacked up here. He's gonna weld it to that and they're gonna come to like maybe right here or so. So I just, a lot of guys that have been putting weight uh, on their cars, it's kind of, you know, they do a bulky setup where they have like weights come up, you know, here and they put like actual lifting weights on them. Uh, I wanted something, I wanted the weight back here, but I wanted it to be kind of compact. So this is our solution. We're gonna have those two bars right here and then they're gonna have a little bung in the side of them and we're gonna fill them up with lead. Uh, so hopefully it's around, right around 100 pounds. I don't wanna add a crazy amount because I mean, I want to have some weight back there to help with uh, traction. And keep in mind, this, this is gonna be kind of for mid range and top end. A lot of people I think assume that adding the weight is gonna help with the initial bite. It's really not for that. It's so that we could probably pour in the power a little bit earlier. At least that's what I hope. I mean, any benefit that we get to the hit, I mean, that would be nice, but the way that I look at it is, you know, suspension and tire is what's gonna give us our initial bite. And then the added weight that we put into it hopefully helps um, so that we can pour the power in earlier. Uh, we tried to get it as good as we could. Like you guys saw some of the stuff that we did uh, over at Mineral Wells on that really, really bad road. Kept the radials on there we went a couple of times and i got it to where i think that's the best i can do um you know with the current suspension setup until we start adding some weight so we're at that point now let's add some weight uh the other thing awesome Damn, look at them pie cuts it's <laughs> <laughs> so random i was like what are you looking at all right so also shout out to dirt floor fab uh we got this can input output module uh it's a new thing from holly where if you have like a holly hp or even a terminator x and you know you usually only have the four inputs and four outputs and you've run out you can use uh this to give you i think it's just a, another additional four in and four out um there's some limitations to it but for what we want to use it uh for like wheel speed sensors you know non-factory or i shouldn't say non-factory but non-dedicated stuff um, you can use this for that. So we've been wanting a long time to do some wheel speed sensors on it. And I made a wiring mistake a long time ago. And so I burnt up two of my ports. So for probably the last like two, uh, maybe even three years, we haven't been using uh, the drive shaft speed sensor and we didn't have a front wheel speed sensor. We've been doing everything off of just two inputs. So one is for trans brake in and the other one is for bump in that we also use for scramble. That's it. So everybody thinking that we had like traction control or something on it, we did not. We didn't have any speed sensors going into the truck at all. It was literally just trying to guess the road and uh, you know making our power progression based on time correct. So I think we've been able to do pretty good, but this is, uh, hopefully it doesn't spoil us, but this should make it a heck of a lot easier. So now the other thing that we're doing, again, shout out to uh, Zeth, Dirt Floor Fab, go check it out on YouTube. Does a bunch of cool stuff on his as well. He's got a couple of uh, neat projects going on. The other thing that we're gonna do is a front wheel speed sensor. So we've got this undone. I'll show you uh, how it ends up, but we're gonna try to put a bracket uh, over here. And then we're gonna try to pick up on the bolt heads. Uh, so with the sensor that we're using, it needs to, it's gonna pick up metal points. And so we just figured hopefully we'll be able to use the back side uh, of the bolts to as our points so this one's uh it's got six of them back there so we'll have six points that should be more than enough because we're not going to use this thing like right off the hit it's going to be like you know maybe a, a tenth of a second or a quarter of a second into the run where we'll actually start uh comparing 
front wheel speed to rear wheel speed. So the drive shaft speed sensor that we have in the car is the Motion Race Works drive shaft speed sensor kit. Really, really uh, nice setup. That one's got 16 points, so a little bit finer of a signal, but like I said, still, we're probably not gonna use it until uh, the car's already starting to move a little bit. That way we make sure we're not making any changes off of you know some false, false data. So once this thing starts moving a little bit, six points are gonna be more than enough uh, data for us to, to get a, a good speed signal and start making some changes off of it. That's what we got going on. And uh, so Nick's rigging up the uh, bars right now and then we'll start grinding away on this bracket and uh, hopefully get, um, or grinding away on this area right here and then making a bracket off of there to point the sensor at the back of those bolts. And I'll get a light and try to show a better shot in there for a second, or uh, a little bit later. So yeah, that's what we got going on. Hopefully this weight helps us for the you know big end and then whatever, if we still overshoot for some reason, we'll have actual, you know, some means of traction control uh, to kind of be our, our safety net now. So I don't have to do the guessing with my, you know, RPM versus time. Like we'll be able to do our power control off of front wheel speed. So we may actually change boost to come in based on front wheel speed. And then we'll have a table that I'll probably show in another video um, where we make a timing change or maybe even a boost change uh, or maybe even a limiter change. We'll play around with that a little bit off of the split, the difference between front wheel speed and rear wheel speed. So one of the up upgrades or new features of version six is that you're able to do a uh, rev limit offset. So a lot of guys are using it on launch control right now, but I think we're gonna actually try to duplicate one of the behaviors that the fancy Holly uh, traction control does, where if it gets to a certain point, they actually start cutting some cylinders. Now we won't be able to do it on like individual cylinders. It'll be a straight cut, ignition cut. Um, but I think we can use it in a scenario where we really overshot it and we do need to actually, you know, bring in a rev limit to get it back under control. So I think we can make it to where there's a table that says uh, anything over this amount of difference between front wheel speed and rear wheel speed, bring that rev limit down. You know, we'll have to figure out um, how to make it consistent throughout the run uh, or, or the right RPM throughout the run. And it'll bring down the main rev limit down to that point for a brief moment. And then once wheel speed comes back in, it allows it to go back up. So I don't know, we'll play around with it and see if it works. It may not be feasible. Honestly, it may be worth just paying the $500 and getting the actual uh, traction control uh, setup. But these two sensors are relatively inexpensive. So I'm hoping that it gives uh, other people that have wheel speed sensors, maybe a little bit better method or an additional method for wrangling and traction. So, we'll see. that's gonna do or do what we want. What do you have to say after you do each weld? You know the... Yeah. What am I supposed to say? That ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Made wood, real sturdy. <laughs> oh, but no, that's after you hook up a trailer. No, yeah, it's right. not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's... It is after you put the freaking chains on, you're like, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's if you attach anything. No. That's that's after you weld some. That sounds like after I don't strap something down inside the back of my truck. 
dangle anywhere. That probably too. <laughs> I, I guess it's just anything. If you just put it into place, and it's usually like if you don't do it proper. <laughs> Your entire truck ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> How do, how's the El Camino doing? Doesn't like the name of the YouTube. I know, all she is is critical. Listen, huh. whose side are you on here? I know. I am his biggest hater. Yeah. Okay, Herman. I don't think that's what... <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be that way. I'm your... No, I'm just really mean to you. Yeah, you're just... I'm flat out really mean to you. Yeah. I'm glad we got there. You know, you finally realized it. I'm okay with it. I know, that's the second problem. I could sleep at night. Yeah. Yeah like a baby all right so nick got this thing all welded up uh thought it was going to be uh, kind of a hard time welding to the cast but he is a professional so got it nice and snug in there that bracket is firm as hell and it's gonna be really hard to see it on this camera but so see this little bolt down here that's what we're actually going to be uh, picking up our signal on so as that bolt head goes by there we're picking it up on just the very edge, like just the corner, so that we don't have to worry about there being a signal difference between like the low side and the and the high side, and it thinking that there's two points there. Where it comes across the sensor, which I'm not gonna be able to show you in the camera, but it's on the very outside edge of it, like the top, top corner of the bolt. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a good signal for us to um, you know, pick up the, the points of each of those and not have to grind down the head of the bolt or anything like that. If it turns out that, you know, it's not what we're thinking uh, as far as just the edge, I mean, we can just grind them down smooth and then we'll just adjust this sensor to be a little bit closer. So I think we already got the right adjustment on there. Um, we just basically put it all the way to the sensor, put this nut right up against the bracket, and then we backed it off, did our spacing between uh, that nut and the bracket, and then tightened it back down. So. Uh, we got it right at 40 thousandths, so that should be good. And then we're just going to have to wire it up later um, into the box that uh, Dirt Floor Fab let us borrow, and we should be good. So then we'll have front wheel speed, finally. Got our O2 bungs in there, too? Yep. Oh, yeah. You guys don't even understand what we're going to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before he burns his hands. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it'll wobble around a little bit, but like, I mean, I like I like said. If you didn't want it to, just totally put it up. Yeah. I think, I think that would be fine, because it's not like we're going to be taking this in and out. Oh, man, those, those gussets do look nice. Do they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Yeah, let me see. Wow, that looks really fancy. I know. Do I need to paint it now? Um, I don't know. I didn't even put a tag on it. Oh, man. No, I was going to say, do you want to, though? <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to just write it in marker? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> and do it. Are you right handed or left handed? Uh, right handed, so okay, use so my left. left okay. Yeah. All caps. <laughs> I have to hold it like this. Yeah. Not, not actually writing. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. Nice and close in the bumper. I mean, yeah, like when you look at it from behind, it's not like a standout, like, oh, that looks ridiculous sort of thing. No. Like, you have to really be looking at it to notice it. People are going to ask you what it is. I think we have some O2s that we could probably use. Anyway, as usual, Nick doing a great job whipping this up. So what we're going to do is, I mean, we're just using these as, as fill holes. So we'll, you know, put it upright and then I'll, we're going to get lead uh, shot to pour down there. So this whole thing full of lead, it should weigh about a hundred pounds. Yeah. Right on the nose. Yeah. So the idea is hopefully that'll help us out a little bit on really, really bad surfaces. Cause really, I don't, I think we can make the radials work and I think a little bit of weight will go a long way in, uh, you know, helping us be able to apply it earlier yeah, I was gonna say, there you go <laughs> we don't want to put that much weight on sorry, it that's for sure sorry, sorry, sorry. well i just mean down down the road Jesus. i'm pretty sure we just you know maxed out the shots there My bad. <laughs> i think those are all the way stiff too <laughs> <Not no more. laughs> hoping to get to uh some street stuff going on or very slick no prep stuff going on uh i know there's a couple of uh like top end races coming up 
and then obviously there's always uh, street stuff allegedly yeah one or the other we just we wanted to be able to get this weight bar going and get that wheel speed sensor going so that we are prepared for you know the crappier surfaces um, race season's ramping up so <laughs> yeah but this will be cool because it's like easily removable you can literally just pull it out and then we're back to doing you know track stuff radial stuff so hopefully it'll be good hit him up hit him up with the sign off i clam up what am i supposed to say <laughs> what about you what? Hit him with the with the sign off sign off yeah that's the way the cookie crumbles i was always the like oh, share it. yeah that subscribe. sort of thing yeah sort of yeah no. Wait, i like his it? better all right so yeah like usual like share subscribe the normal stuff and that's the way the cookie crumbles <laughs>